Yes, we have a brand new sound pack here in Logic Pro for iPad, the Pom Pom Producer Pack. So in this video, I'm going to take a look and tell you everything you get in this new pack. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to Studio Live today. Yes, this is possibly the best producer pack we've seen in a very long time. Lots of guitars, lots of horns, lots of cool beats, and we're going to dive in and take a look at it right now. Now, if you're a GarageBand iOS user, I've already covered this in the video you'll see up there and in the description if you just want a quick look at it. But we're going to take a bit of a deeper dive and show you how to use these cool sounds here in Logic Pro. So the first thing that we can do is if you want to dive into to the sound library from your main screen here, down here where it's got featured sound packs, tap on the C all. And there it is, the new Pom Pom producer pack. We'll tap that one. We'll hit the get button. There is a little bug here at the moment that when you get it, it will show you this, it'll download it, and then it will say you can get it again. You can see exactly what it's done there. We've got download completed, but we've still got a get button. So a little bug there at the moment. Don't stress, it has been downloaded. It is available. Let's dive in and show you how we can use it. So let's start a new project in tracks mode. I'm going to tap on tracks here and open up a new track, a new project. Let's start with a session player drummer because I'd like to show you how we can use these new drum kits with the session player drummer. So I'm going to tap on this one just to get us started here. There we go. We've got eight bars of session drama. It's just our old buddy Kyle. It's called pop rock now, but he sounds like this. But what if we want to actually change this up to one of these new drum kits? Because there are four drum kits in this new pack, along with a bunch of Apple loops and some new instrument patches. I'm going to show you all of them. Don't worry about that. So let's change this up. Let's tap on this pop, pop rock drummer to start with. And we don't want a pop rock drummer. We want an electronic drummer. And here we go. We've got all these different styles. The problem is none of these will actually use the new kits that are in these new packs. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just throw on, uh, what should we do? Like a modern 80s, get a bit of a vibe here. Uh, that will add this kit. So the electronic drummer and the modern 80s sounds like this. Not bad, but we want to actually use this new kit. So how do we get to them? We need to go to our sound library browser. We do that over here on the left. We tap on this one. We're here in our browser. We now need to actually go into our instrument patches. This is where our drum kits are. We tap on instrument patches and we need to tap on drums. So we're going to tap drums and here we go. Here's all of our drum kits available. But what if we just want these new ones? To get to those, we need to filter down to the sound pack. We're going to tap on the filter button in the top right here and down the bottom here where it's got sound packs we need to carefully scroll across to the right now these are not in a great order they're not in alphabetical order they're in a bit of a weird order if you know the order they're in let me know but you'll find about halfway across we have pom pom we're going to tap on pom pom and here we go here are our new kits we're filtered so we can just hit done and because you've got access to both the entire kits as well as to each of the individual ones, as you can see there, we can get all of these different kit pieces. So you can mix and match. You can use Drum Machine Designer. You can use individual samples and individual sounds. But we want to use the whole kit. So how do we do that? We grab one of these four kits. Let's choose uh, the green lights, shall we? We're going to uh, preview it by tapping here. This is going to sound cool. And then all we need to do is tap and drag and pop this on our drummer track. And like magic, it's going to replace the original one with this drum kit. Isn't that cool? So you can use your drummer with these new kits. Of course, you can use them as a drum kit as well. Let's show you how to do that now. To use these drum kits and get more control, all we need to do is add a new track. And we're going to tap the plus button here. We're going to add a MIDI software instrument track. Now, this gets a bit confusing because people are like MIDI instrument. Isn't that like a melodic instrument? Well, it can be a drum kit too. Let's show you what we mean here. So we've already got this filtered down. If you haven't filtered it like we did before, you just do it the exact same way, but we've already done that once, so we don't have to do it again. What we can do is we can either bring an individual sound, like we said before, or an entire kit. This time, let's do the Lunar Bump Kit. We can preview it. 
that's pretty cool. And if we want to bring this in and replace this Deluxe Classic, we just tap and hold, drag it over, and release it, and instantly this has become a drum kit. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, how do I play that on a keyboard? Well, this is the beauty part of Logic Pro for iPad. We have different play surfaces. To get to those, we tap in the bottom right corner, and here you can see it's already put us into the right play surface for this one. If it hasn't for whatever reason, all you need to do is tap here, and you can change if it sounds on the keyboard. You can't really play on the keyboard, can you? It's a, it's a hard work. But if you tap this button here, you can choose, and your best one for this is obviously your drum pad, so you can. You can play all your instruments right here. So if I wanted to play something in, let's turn on our metronome and just play in a basic kick snare pattern here. We'll stop that now. So you can, if you don't want to use the drummer and the auto drummer, you can actually do this and create your own drummer. That was obviously a very simple beat. You can then layer this up and create more, but... So let's just uh, use that and we'll loop that. So we'll just bring this here. We will use the loop tool and we'll loop that out. We've got a bit of a combo here now. We'll come back to our original drummer that we have here, and now we have these drums, and they're both using different kits from within this very new pack. But wait, there's a whole lot more, including a bunch of cool new loops. To get to those, we tap in the bottom left here, and we're back to our browser. Now, we don't want instrument patches this time, so I'm gonna hit the left button there. This time, we actually want loops. We are going to have to re-filter those. So let's tap the filter button. We're going to scroll down here on the left until we get to the bottom here in sound packs. And let's scroll across and once again, find Pom Pom. They really need a better way to order these. Anyway, there it is, Pom Pom. We'll tap on Pom Pom and we've done our filtering. Let's hit the done button. And here they are. Here's all of the cool new sounds that we have. And you're seeing here, we got trumpets, we got guitars, we got bass, we got synth, we got beats. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Now I've played around up the top there. So let's come a little further down. What's this New York lo-fi sound? We've got some bass here. That's pretty cool. That's a cool bass sound. Ah, uh, what do we got? Some, whoop, we hit the beat. What do we got some way of guitars? Because there's so many good guitars in here. Uh, let's, what's this pure soul guitar? Well, it's a guitar bend. Maybe we want the lead guitar. That's pretty cool. And we've got some rhythm here too. Very nice. All right, I'm convinced. Let's bring some of this in here. So we're going to grab this one, the Pure Soul Rhythm Guitar. To bring a loop in, we tap and hold and drag it. And you can drop it over here on your track. That'll create like a, synth, a, a sampler or an alchemy sound. But we actually just want to bring the loops straight in here. So let's drop it in there. And you can see that it's brought in our chords. How cool is that? So it's doing a little uh, a little C into a D minor seven. And if we take a uh, listen to this now. It sounds really cool. Uh, so let's uh, loop that one out. We'll hit the loop button here and drag that one out. Let's, uh, let's bring in some of the lead guitar then as well. So we'll uh, tap on this one to preview it. Cool. So we'll bring that in halfway through here. And the cool thing is that if you're using ones that are from kind of the same pack, it will have the same chords. See how it's done that there? Now we don't need all of that. So we'll just hit the trim button, tap at the end there and bring this together. So we're just going to do a little eight bar loop now that sounds like this. Very nice, and we'll, we'll keep working on this. We got some horns, what about a horn pad here? 
Yeah, I like that. Let's bring the horn pad in here as well, and we'll layer these up. Now, of course, you can mix and match. Let's loop that again. Tap it, loop it. You can mix and match these sounds if you want to, uh, but you will tend to find different chords and things. On the topic of chords, now that we're starting to build out, let's just zoom in a little bit. Now that we're starting to build out an eight bar arrangement here, you'll see it's going C, D minor seven, C, D minor seven. Let's see what that's done to our chords track by tapping up the top here. Check it out. It brings these along for the rest of our track. And that means that we can use things like our virtual instruments, like our bass, like our strings, like our all of our other virtual sounds, and actually create them here with our session players. If you'd like to learn more about session players in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos down in the description. Shall we take a look and see if we've got something else we can use in here? Let's mix and match something. Let's find more of a, uh, a beat sound, shall we? Maybe a a, uh, a dreaming time beat. No, that's a little bit too uh, a little bit too laid back. We want something. What about the Fire Island Shaker? Yeah, this could sit nicely under the rest of this track. So let's just grab this one and drop it. This time it's going to be a percussion loop, so it won't have any chords there because it doesn't really matter. And we'll loop this one out like we've done before. We'll tap it, we'll drag it across. So this is going to put this little shaker underneath the rest of our track. which I think sounds pretty cool. While we're here, let's just quickly adjust this drummer because I think it's way too intense and complex. So we can just do some quick little adjustments like this uh, because now we've got more of a laid back kind of groove. Really nice sounds in here. You're gonna be able to create yourself some nice lo-fi vibes. Now, as well as the four new drum kits that we can use with our drummer or with our own drums and all of those Apple loops, more than 200 of them, there are some new instrument patches that we can play with. So let's go back again. We'll tap on the, the browser in the bottom left here. We're gonna go back and back into instrument patches. Now, here's the cool thing. If you haven't cleared it, it's gonna have kept our things in there. So all we need to do is get rid of drums, tap on the X for drums, and now we've got Pom Pom, and we're gonna have all the other instruments in here. Now, if we scroll on down, you'll see that it's a it's got a little bit of um, all the different drum parts in there, so all the different drum kit pieces, so you do kind of have to dodge those, or what you can actually do is use the filter here to come in and say, I only wanna hear certain types of effects. So we can come in here and say, let's just give me the uh, voice effects, and there you go. You can see, though, although it's brought in some of the effects there as well. Uh, so it is a little bit more tricky. You can do some more complex filtering up here and remove the drums if you really want to. But let's just go through and take a listen to some of these. So what have we got? We've got some creepy bells. We've got some bell swells. We've got some flange wobble. We've got some floating flugels. We've got a whole bunch of cool stuff in here that we can use. And the thing is, with these, let's just find something that we reckon we can use in this. What about some mellowed out keys? Mm, that could be nice. So we can bring these in by tapping. And this time, we actually want to drop it over here. And it's going to create a MIDI track. So it's going to create a brand new MIDI track. We tap on the bottom right here. This time, it's... It's going to give us this. Uh, and we can play in our own chords... So let's see if we can play in using the keyboard here. And we know that it's C and D minor seven because it tells us, which makes it easier. So let's hit record and record in some chords. That's a lot of chords. Two, three. I think that's going to work well. Let's hit stop. So we can edit these, of course, if, if we think we've hit a note wrong, we want to change some timing because it's just MIDI. So we can actually go into our editor by tapping the edit window there, popping the play surface down there, and we've got full ability to control all the notes we've hit here. So this note in particular came in a bit early. We can just adjust that by dragging it forward and back. I should show you with the mouse pointer. You can grab and drag it there. So we can adjust that. And uh, if we listen to all of this back now, uh, we've used these instruments to create a cool little groove.
Now, there is so much more to explore in here. We can use the different samples in here. We can, as we said before, you can use any of the things from within the instruments to create your own types of instruments. You can use the loops and pull these in here to create other cool things. So if you wanted to say, grab this beach vibe guitar, and you want to create your own instrument out of it, you can grab this and instead of putting it in as a loop, you can put it right here on the header and we can turn this into a quick sampler or a sample alchemy. Let's just go the quick sampler here and bring it up and you can actually... It creates a little sample effect for you with that. And you can use that in Sample Alchemy as well. I cover that in other videos if you want to learn more about that here on the channel. So there it is. Probably the best pack that I've seen here in Logic Pro or GarageBand iOS for a very long time. Here in Logic, you got the advantages of having the chords there, so you know exactly what's going on with your Apple loops. You can use all your sounds as a, a standard sound as well. And that cool trick I showed you at the start to bring the kit in here and use it as the kit for your drummer in the virtual drum. So I hope you found this one useful. If you'd like to learn more about how to create, record, and release your own music using Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos in the description, and I'll see you next time.